In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cloud AI in VS Code. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your VS Code over here on your desktop. And then on the left hand side, you can see at the very bottom, there's this icon when you hover over it, it says extensions. So you want to click on extensions, and you want to search for Klein. So simply just type in Klein. And then there's going to be a bunch of these, but the one you want to use is usually the first one, which is also verified. As you can see, it says this publisher has a verified ownership of client.bot. So click on this and then you'll know it's the right one because again, it's verified and it has like over one and a half million users. So once, you, once you're over here, you want to click on install and then it's going to start installing. And there we go. Once that's done, you'll see a new button here on the left, which is the Klein bot. So you want to click on Klein over here and it's going to just open up over here on the left hand side. And as you can see, it's going to basically say get started for free or use your own API key. What you want to do over here is click on this gear icon up top where it says settings. And first, of course, you're going to use user own API key. And after you've done all this, you're going to be able to select this um, settings icon. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll then have to put in your API. So what you're going to have to do over here is click on API provider, and then you want to change this to Anthropic. So of course, there's multiple ways to do this, but we're going to do this with Anthropic because I think it's the easiest way. So to actually get the API key, you want to go to the console, which is going to be console.anthropic.com. So just go over here, sign in. It's going to be very simple. And once you sign in here on the left, you want to click on settings at the very bottom. And from here, click on API keys over here. And then you can create your API key. So where it says create an API key, just click on create key. And then select your workspace. For me, it's going to be default and you have to name it. I'm going to name it tutorial for this case and then click add. And then you're going to be able to see your API key. There we go. Make sure you copy this and paste it somewhere because you can only see it once. You won't be able to view it again. After you notice, know click on close and then we can go back to VS code over here and then select Entropic, Entropic API key. Just paste this in and then click let's go. After you do this, as you can see, your custom API key has been done over here and the settings have opened over here because I tapped on it earlier. We can just do cancel. And from here, you can now see you've successfully connected your Cloud AI with your VS code and you can now start using it. So you can type in any tasks and it's going to do whatever you want because this is now connected with your API key inside VS code. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.